I hope you guys just saw that. That's disgusting. I took the wrong train. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. I am getting ready to go into the city, into New York City. But now I need to decide what shoes I'm wearing. I bought these shoes uh, recently from Shein. This top is from Shein as well. And I'm thinking I really want to wear these because I want to take a video, uh, like an Instagram reel of my, of my outfit. So I really want to want to use these shoes because they're new, they're clean, they look really cute. But I'm going into the city and every Every time I go, I come back with blisters on my feet. And I know that these, my Nike Air Force Ones, they do not give me blisters. Why did I... Ew, I just touched the bottom of my shoe. That's disgusting. I know these don't give me blisters. So now I'm thinking, should I wear these? I don't know. I don't know. Because these are kind of dirty. And they're kind of ugly. <laughs> But they're super comfy and they don't give me blisters. You know what? I think I'm just gonna go with these shoes. So let me put them on and then I'll show you guys the full outfit. Okay, folks. So this is the final outfit. Like I said, this top is from Shein. It's really cute. I would say it's a little, it's a little short, but I love it nonetheless. These jeans are cotton on jeans and then Nike Air Force Ones. I'm wearing my um, Fashion Nova. Ooh. Sorry about that. I'm wearing my Fashion Nova necklace. I love this necklace so much. And then rings. I'm going to wear my Apple Watch today because I want to see how many steps I'm going to get. Because usually when I go into the city, I walk so much. And also, I'm going to be wearing my black backpack. Okay, guys. So the reason I'm vlogging today, I actually wasn't planning on going into the city. But the reason I'm vlogging is because I am very homesick more than usual and i was actually planning on just staying home laying in bed all day and just basically doing nothing but obviously that's not going to help the homesickness it's actually going to make it much worse because the only way that i found to get over homesickness is if you kind of distract yourself and do something else so whenever i feel a certain emotion like homesickness and there's nothing i can do about it then i just do something i get ready and i go somewhere or i facetime my parents which i actually just did it's not a fun feeling because i mean i have experienced homesickness before i went to hostel when I was in high school I lived in a hostel like for five years of my life but that was different I know that on Monday that I'll be home on Friday where now it's like I'm not gonna be home for quite a while because when you feel homesick it's like you feel the feelings and then you're like okay but I need to get over this because there's absolutely nothing I can do about it and then I get even more homesick because I'm like ah you know what I mean anyway but yeah it's really bad today it, it actually it's been bad for the past three days it's Wednesday and yeah it's not like I can book a flight home it's really not that easy I just wanted to start this video and be honest this is why I'm going to the city now you must be thinking Rochelle why do you go to the city so little like why don't you go more well it's not the cheapest thing to go to the city because the train ticket alone to get there and back is $25 and as an au pair you don't get paid that much it might sound a lot to us south africans but it's really not that much so 25 dollars for just transport it's a hefty amount okay and then that's only for transport and then when you get there you want to eat you want to enjoy yourself so that's why i don't go that often i'm gonna pack my little bag i haven't even checked the train times so i don't even know if i'm early or if i'm late i don't know also just to get to the train is a 30 minute walk from my house or 25 at best but and that's not even that's just to get to the train why did i have this pen in my hand the whole time i don't know if you guys noticed it i was just playing with this pen anyway let's go <laughs> i just left the house there's a train in 26 minutes i don't think i'm gonna make it because i still have to buy a ticket let's hope for the best i'm on my way i'm so sweaty but i made it oh and i thought it was gonna depart at 12.07 it says 12.02 so I'm on the train now. Let me tell you what I'm listening to. Kardaren. I miss home so much. And I'm listening to Kardaren. It's rough. I'm gonna take a train. We're gonna go to Hawk Avenue. And I'm gonna look for like a breakfast spot. 
it's because I haven't eaten anything. It's like... I saw that. That is so messed up. see me I'm in Bryant Park and I'm eating my I'm enjoying my Starbucks just now there was literally a girl she dropped garbage and then this uh, this guy ran up to her and just threw it back at her <laughs> anyway um, I got a little sandwich egg turkey and cheese it's really good and then I have a brown sugar, brown sugar shaken espresso with oat milk. It tastes so good. One of my favorite drinks. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this. Let's taste it. I hope you guys just saw that. Anyway, I'll see you guys when I'm done. Okay guys, I'm done eating. Why is it so zoomed in? And now I actually want to take a video of my outfit, like an Instagram reel. I don't know where I'm going to do that though. I was at Park Avenue, but it's really busy today. There's a lot of people, so I don't know, I don't know where I'm going to do it. Anyway, I'm going to look up where I can go and then I'll let you know. Okay guys, so I did it again. I took the wrong subway, I took the wrong train, but it's okay because I figured it out. I didn't know, well I came to the Upper East Side because I literally googled quietest street and it said Upper East Side. So um, I'm here now, let's take some videos. Okay, I'm walking around and I can't seem to find anywhere where I can like put my phone down, so I'm kind of stressed. I'm gonna walk until I find a place because listen, I came all this way. Like there's so many cute areas, but there's no way where I can like put my phone down, like on a windowsill or something. It's okay, we're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. Okay folks, I am in a very random park right now. I think I'm on the upper side of Central Park. Actually, I have no idea. I think I need to be heading home now because it's 3 p.m. and my ticket is for off-peak, which means I can't be using the train at six and five and four, I think, because then I have to pay extra, which I, I can do that, but I already bought my ticket. So I think I might get a juice and then take it on the train. Maybe I'll look for a Joe in the juice again because they are literally my favorite juice place ever but yeah the video I I think it look looks okay it didn't turn out the way the way that I thought it would I would I thought it was gonna be better I don't know because my outfit is kind of average now that I look back on the video so um, but it's okay it still looks okay <laughs> never mind the closest Joe and the Jesus is a 21 minute walk so I think I'm gonna walk back to the subway get on the subway because there's a Joe and the Jesus really close to Grand Central <laughs> so let's go there yeah I'm not walking 21 minutes when there's one literally at Grand Central okay let's go <laughs> Um, I hope you guys can hear me, but I missed my train home. 
I missed it. I literally got here when it departed. So it's okay. I have to wait 26 minutes for my next one. And it's on track, track 109. So I think it might be downstairs. So let's go find my train. Portchester. Because I missed my train, this train is uh, during peak time and that means I'm going to have to pay extra and I don't have cash. So hopefully they take card. Let's hope for the best. Hello guys, I am back from the city now and um, luckily the walk home wasn't as hot as the walk there. <laughs> also, I definitely have blisters on my feet. I can feel them. I just know that they're going to be there. So I'm not looking forward to that. I'm so happy that I went into the city today. I really did have a lot of fun. I always, I mean, I always have fun when I go into the city. It's just because today was a difficult one. Yeah, I think I'm actually just going to make myself a salad at home. And then, yeah, because I don't want to spend unnecessary money. Honestly, it's, it's, it's just... It's not necessary. Anyways, um, guys, this was fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> Thank you guys for supporting my YouTube channel and watching my videos. Like, making YouTube videos, it really makes everything a lot easier and more fun. I mean, I could have went to the city alone and it would have been fun, but it just, it's so much more fun if I film my day and if I take you guys along with me. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, do that because I'm posting a lot on there. I'm trying to be more consistent, post more. The same thing with YouTube, but... YouTube is always a struggle because it takes it takes me five hours to edit one video. I have to leave in like seven minutes. I'm meeting up with my friend Anna in in at the mall and I haven't eaten anything yet today, so I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> oh no. Is it the other door? <laughs> That is so embarrassing. <laughs> you try that one. Yeah. Oh, I know where that one is. That's kind of like... Hi guys, so I hope you guys can hear me because the wind just picked up for some reason. But we are seated at this cute little... I got myself a water and then we also we went into this bagel place. I forget what it's called um, But I got a I think it's an everything bagel with bacon egg and cheese. It's huge Anna tell us what bagel did you get? I got an everything bagel with scallion cream cheese. Not onions. They're like they're not chives either they're like green Wait, I, they're green like little green ones. Yeah, I think I've had them oh, okay. It's called what a bagel cafe. Oh Thank you, Anna. It's called What a Bagel Cafe. Okay, guys, here we go. Mm. Okay, guys, we're gonna eat our bagels and then we're gonna go to the mall. Guys, 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 these boots, I need, I need these. Anna, what, how do you feel about cowboy boots? I think I like them. Texas would be better yeah. to get them, you know? That's so cute. Yeah, oh, but this is so cute. This clip is $15. <laughs> no, guys, everything is so cute, but it's kind of expensive. Oh, look at all the pink. <gasps> no, look. At that blue, are you are you kidding me? Okay, hi guys. So I'm so sorry I haven't been speaking to you guys that much. We've just been enjoying ourselves. I just drove to Bronxville. This is where Anna lives, and we are gonna just walk around, see the sights. So let me call her and tell her that I'm here because she she's been waiting for me because I've been lost. Like I get lost all the time. Anyway. Let's go. Yeah, um, purchase uh, ticket. Purchase ticket. One. Hello. Oh. I think you press one to add more because I had to purchase two tickets. Wait, I'm confused then. You press one to hopefully add 
time. I'm confused though, because no, what do you mean? Wait, you can't be confused, then I'm confused. Ja. Hallo Anai. Hallo. Anai, als jij nou enig iets komt, zeg wat zo het wees. Ehm, ik mis jou en ik vind het is jou terugkomen. This is so cute. Wait, do you guys have a sign? Um, this is our sign. Let me see the sign. What does it say? It says, Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to our lemonade stand. We have pink lemonade and cookies. Nice! That's really cute. <laughs> don't think about drinking it. <laughs> now you don't think about drinking <laughs> um, Anyways guys, so for the rest of the evening, I am doing some babysitting tonight. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!